Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is, what's your communication goal? As leaders, we're constantly communicating to our stakeholders with strategic intent. And the question is whether our communication style is effective or not. This may sound simple, but amazingly, many leaders miss excellent opportunities to communicate with employees in ways that develop them by enhancing their understanding of business priorities and engaging them in driving sustained business outcomes. Here's a case to consider. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter of your fiscal year. Your company's revenues aren't meeting projections, sales forecasts in your industry show a year-over-year -year decline, and the cost of raw materials is going up. As CEO, you and the CFO meet with your leadership team and decide that spending must be slashed for the remainder of the year and the following year's budget needs to be reduced by 10%. Now, because this is a critical issue, you want the organization to make sure that this is their first priority. So you ask the leaders to identify spending and budget reductions and submit them to the finance team within a week. You have three options here for communication. The first is compliance. It's a common approach to communicating this all-too-frequent business ritual to provide information and expect compliance. You give the team direction on what they need to do, and they submit the required information. It's a transactional process, and there's no buy-in to the decisions. You may achieve your goal, but with no lasting impact. The second option is comprehension. It's a better approach to explain the business financials to the organization, help them to understand the cost drivers, the industry trends, the allocation of resources. You provide insight into how you and the leadership team arrived at your decisions and the plans that are being put in place. Now, managers' employees are better equipped to make thoughtful decisions about where to identify spending and budget reductions. The third option is change. The best communication approach is the one that involves change in the organization. And there are underlying reasons for the financial condition of the company, both internal and external. This is an opportunity for strategic review of the operating model, research and development investment, pricing strategy, and other business drivers. Employees should understand how their work impacts the bottom line and regularly engage in reviews to improve effectiveness. Thus, they have ownership in influencing the desired business outcomes. Good communication isn't a series of distinct events. It's an ongoing flow of interactions where leaders assess and understand the needs of others and continuously provide inputs to support those needs. Now, leaders who look at employees and say, oh, they don't need to know this, will have short-sighted results. Communication should be viewed as a developmental opportunity to help employees understand the broader context of their work and enable them to make better decisions. When driving major organizational changes, communication should be like the dripping of a faucet, frequent, consistent, and fluid. Employees who frequently hear from their leaders will feel more connected and aware of initiatives and decisions. Employees who consistently hear from their leaders learn to trust the process and the quality of information provided. And employees who fluidly hear from their leaders are more likely to engage in spontaneous interaction on tough but important questions around business decisions. This enhances employee engagement and empowers them to be more effective in their roles. So how are you communicating with your team? Thanks for listening. Thank you.